Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. If you're into VFX, then here's something really awesome. Unity has just published an excellent free ebook all about learning how to create some really awesome visual effects. This is a super detailed ebook. In total, it's 167 pages long. So this whole thing is packed full of information. Alongside that, there's also some really excellent samples. These are bite-sized samples that teach all kinds of things individually in bite-sized pieces. This is all some really impressive stuff. We're going to look at this in a little bit. For me, it's actually been a real long time since I lasted anything with the VFX ref. So it's really awesome to see how it has improved so much in all these years. Also considering how technical artists, those are usually some of the highest paid positions in the industry. Because of that, this is definitely a super valuable ebook. If you take the time to study this, you will have gained a really valuable skill. By the way, I first wrote about this in my Game Dev Report newsletter. This is where I cover all kinds of interesting Game Dev news and articles that I come across each week. You can sign up for free and stay up to date with the link in the description. So here's the blog post, get the most out of VFX Graph in Unity 6 with the updated ebook for artists. Also just a side tangent, I really like how Unity is basically updating all kinds of things to work with Unity 6. They are really making Unity 6 a very big release. And considering how Unity 7 is probably at least two years away, considering that, it's really awesome how they're making sure everything works specifically with Unity 6. There was another awesome ebook they published a while ago, also really awesome and also updated for Unity 6. And literally just as I'm recording this, just a few days ago, they published another ebook, this one all about really awesome multiplayer stuff. So you have just a side note, I'm really happy that Unity is doing this. Lots of knowledge in all of these free ebooks. I think this is awesome and I definitely hope they keep doing this. Okay, so here on the VFX ebook one. So this ebook is all about the VFX graph. It contains a detailed introduction to graph logic, in case you don't know VFX graph is a graph based tool. Then it covers how to work with URP and HGRP, which if you like me haven't used VFX graph in many years. Back when it came out, it was HGRP only but quite a while ago they made it URP as well. The ebook contains many explanations on all kinds of visual effects examples. It covers how to create interactivity, so work with physics and all kinds of objects. It covers how to work VFX graph with shaded graph together. That's a really awesome thing, so you can use all of these graphing tools to make both effects, and then make shaders to apply really interesting stuff on each of those particles. Then some pipeline tools, profile and debugging, and techniques for advanced creators. So even like I said, super detailed. You can get the ebook completely for free. So here it is, 160 pages long. Like I said a while ago, VFX Graph nowadays works in HGRP, URP, and also works with the 2D renderer. This was another thing that was not available for quite a while, but now you can use this to make really awesome effects even in your 2D games. Then another big, very important thing you might not know is how Unity actually has two particle systems. So there's the built-in particle system and then the VFX Graph. And for these, the main difference is that the particle system, this one works mainly on the CPU, whereas the VFX Graph, that one works mainly on the GPU. That is why the VFX graph is capable of simulating literally millions of particles. But one disadvantage of working on the GPU is how it's actually computationally expensive to transfer that data from the CPU to the GPU. So if you want to do things like particles interacting with physics, especially dynamic physics, usually it's going to be easier to use the CPU particle system, so the built-in particle system. But there are also some workarounds to work with VFX graph like we will see in a little bit. Also the VFX graph, this one requires support for compute shaders. Nowadays, as far as I know, even mobile devices, even cheap mobile devices, as far as I know, they support compute shaders. But if you're targeting specifically mobile and specifically very old devices, then it might not support the VFX graph. So in that case, you only have the option of using the built-in particle system. The VFX graph is a node-based tool, so you place all kinds of nodes and then connect them in various ways. Looking at a graph like this, a pretty big graph, this one looks pretty intimidating. But in reality, if we look at it from piece by piece, it actually becomes quite understandable. So in general, you've got all kinds of contexts, and within those contexts, you have all kinds of blocks. So the contexts are like on spawn, initialize particles, update, output, and so on. Then the blocks are like the individual things, like the constant spawn rate, set the velocity for each particle, update how the particle moves, how to output it on screen, and so on. So you have all of these contexts, and then on all of those blocks, you have all those ports, and you can just place all kinds of nodes, and then over here, the logic goes left to right. You can do all kinds of interesting things using all these nodes, and then output the final thing over here onto this stack. The default temples are also excellent for getting started. You can just right-click in the hierarchy, then over here, go under visual effects, and create a new visual effect. Then over here on the asset template, you can create a brand new one. And over here, you do see this nice window. So these are a bunch of really useful template defaults. So you've got one that is just something absolutely minimal. There's a simple loop, burst, trail, and so on. And over here, even some really interesting learning templates. So these are the ones that we're going to see in a little bit. You can create, for example, this one. And up here is the visual effect in action. And we can see here the VFX ref window. We can see all the nodes and we can inspect how the whole thing works. These real basic examples are great for learning, great for getting started on how exactly this whole thing works. Then the ebook also explains how the blackboard works. This is how you can define all kinds of properties and then expose them. Over here on page 42, it covers events. So this is how you can communicate either with other graphs or with C Sharp itself. You can write some normal C Sharp code to trigger events in your visual effects. There's an entire section here on interactivity over on page 69 and above. And then there's a section with a ton of detail on all the various samples. 
So speaking of that, let's look at the super impressive samples. To install them, you just go on the package manager, on the Unity registry, and here is the visual effect graph. And then over here, there's a samples tab, and here it is, the learning template, so just go ahead and import these. Then you get that folder inside your project, and over here, you can load up either the URP or HDRP. And up here is the scene, it's pretty impressive, it's got a massive amount of samples, all of these are separate, all of these teaching all kinds of interesting things. It also includes a real nice script with a custom editor window, so here you can very easily move to all the samples and look at all of them one by one. Then on each of these samples, you can just click and inspect them. Again, one of the best things about VFX Graph that is similar to Shitty Graph is how the whole thing is essentially open source, meaning you can actually see the code behind it, meaning all the graphs. So for example, on this one, let's go inside the hierarchy. And here it is, this one, we have the multi-strips GPU events. Here it has a visual effect graph and we can just double click to open it. And up here is the graph that makes that really impressive effect actually work. Now, if you are not a VFX expert, if you've never used VFX Graph, or if you just don't have much experience like I don't, then a graph of this size can look quite intimidating. But thankfully, a lot of these graphs, a lot of them have all kinds of notes. So all of these things that are basically just comments teaching you exactly what each thing does. So here, trying to generate a random position using these nodes. Then these over here, trying to generate random 0 to 1 values, doing a noise Bezier output. Over here, doing a Bezier path, noise to D, and so on. So these notes and the fact that the whole thing is really nice and organized, this is really awesome for people to learn how exactly this whole thing works. So if you look at the entire graph like this, it looks really intimidating, but drive down into each of them, and it actually becomes quite a bit more understandable. And again, on the ebook, there's also some detail on what exactly each demo is showing. So this one looks super cool. Then over here, this one growing some mushrooms in a very strange way also looks really nice. Here it is, some nice strips just periodically bursting. Then we've got some strange little robot arms moving around. Then we've got something that looks very ethereal, very magical. And another one looking very strange. Here this one showcasing events on collision. This one looks really cool. This one showing collisions, also really awesome. Like I said, collisions are a little bit tricky. So for that, you'll need to look up SDF or sign distance fields. Then this one, another one showing some basic collisions. This one showing how you can apply particles on top of some kind of strange mesh. Once again, using sign distance fields. Here I'm learning how to sample a 2D texture in order to spawn some particles and make them move around. This is only such a fun effect. This one pretty much the same thing, except now it's using a mesh instead of a 2D image. Then this one looks really cool. The petals for the flowers falling down and then disappearing, and the whole thing is recovering every time, constant looping. That looks really awesome. This one over here showing how you can modify the pivot. Here's a really cool one. I have no idea what this whole thing is doing. I have no idea what exactly it's teaching, but I do know that it looks super cool. This one showing some flipbook blending. This is really awesome. Usually flipbooks are very much uh, low frame rate. So over here, you can essentially take a flipbook that only has a certain positions and then do a really nice blend between them so the whole thing looks really nice and smooth. Here you can use sprite sheets in order to make your visual effect graphs look quite a bit more interesting with more images. You can rotate and apply velocity to all kinds of particles. This one shows a bunch of rotation, also looks really nice. This one handles some orientation. Here we got some very creepy eyes spawning out. Apparently this is orienting to a fixed axis. This one over here, also very creepy, also lots of eyes, also very strange, apparently facing the camera. Here showing you how you can have multiple outputs. So you can output some billboards, some meshes, points, decals, and so on. Here how you can play around with count capacity, so how many particles you have. Then covering basics on context and data flow. So if you're a beginner like me, then pretty much start over here on this side and then go one by one. Once again, just click to inspect the graph and open it. And here it is, now this one is quite a bit more simple. So if you want to learn, definitely start from this one. And it starts by teaching pretty much everything one by one. Teaching the context, the events, the loops, and so on. So definitely a really excellent sample all about teaching you how to work with this really awesome, really powerful feature. And if you prefer video, then Unity themselves also made an excellent video going through these samples. Like I said, I'm not a VFX expert, so I definitely recommend you give this video a watch. So yep, an awesome free ebook, awesome samples. If you want to learn how to make awesome effects, then check it out for free with a link in the description. Use these samples to study them, or really just grab them from these samples and use them directly in your own project. Having some cool effects like these will definitely help your game stand out. Also right now, Unity has an excellent bundle, 24 awesome asses for 24 bucks. As usual, it's a super deep discount at 97% off, so if just one of these looks interesting, then the whole thing is worth it. And there are several of these that look very interesting. It includes one volumetric lighting tool. This is always an excellent thing that you can add to pretty much any game to make it look quite a bit better. There's a bundle with a ton of artistic effects. This is a great and simple way to make your game stand out. It includes this nice flying system. Could be a great thing for either drones, helicopters, planes, or something. It has this awesome Sinti Idols animation pack. Really great if you have tons of carrots and you don't want to repeat the same idol animation over and over again. There's this really awesome pack with a ton of restaurant pieces. If you're following my free Kitchen Chaos course, then you can use this to make it look really great. Or some nice UI shader effects to make your UI pop out. Maybe make a Worms or Terraria-like game with this asset. Or just a nice pack with a ton of animations. So yep, lots of things here look really great, and for the price, the whole thing is worth it. So check out the bundle with the link in the description. Alright, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.